Morning, folks. Welcome to uh, Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. This uh, glorious Monday morning, sun shining, a little bit cool outside. Uh, you are watching us here on Wabash Catch TV. My guest today is Mr. Derek Bailey. And you know you can look at the camera and let people see your face if you want. Good morning. <laughs> and we're going to talk about all kinds of different things. We're going to talk about the Sears Hometown Store as well as uh, Derek is going to give me some tips on... Uh, we're going to get some information. I've always wondered, and I told him this a little bit ago, how people who go away from their hometowns, when, what usually draws them back. And uh, there's a lot of folks who, who do that and wonder about that. And, uh, and we're going to get to the bottom of that when we uh, when we get to chatting here in just a minute. This is Monday, January 14th. What is going on around the area today? Well, if you're looking for community events today, it's an American Red Cross blood drive and that's at the uh, red brush christian church the american red cross blood drive it will be today from 1 30 to 6 30 p.m at the uh, the the red brush christian church that's just on uh, route 45 in Louisville. you can't miss it uh, if you want and i think i say this every time go to redcrossblood.org and uh, set up a, an appointment or set up you can do uh, answer your questions early and uh, that's a that might be the best way to go about making for a shorter wait whenever you get to the uh, to the drive but that's a 1 30 today and go until about 6 30 this evening also a couple of diabetes support group meetings today that uh, the carl Moore richland memorial hospital over there in Olney at two o'clock this afternoon they're going to have it's a diabetic support group type Two diabetes basics, and that'll go from about two to three at the uh, only uh, the Carl Richland Memorial Hospital's lower level conference room, and then also this evening at Clay County Hospital, it's a diabetes edu group, education group, and this is for newly diagnosed patients with no previous diabetes education. It's a nine-week group class begins tonight at uh, 5.30 to 6.30 in the CCH conference room. I bet you Jen Hansen's running that. She does a great job there. But uh, that's again at 5.30 tonight at the Clay County Hospital or 2 o'clock today over in Olney at the uh, Carl Richland Memorial Hospital. Also another meeting tonight Celebrate Recovery. That's at the uh, it's a Christ centered recovery program. It'll be at the Transformation Church of God in Clay City, going from six o'clock to eight thirty tonight. And uh, you can give them a call at nine four three zero four twenty five if you'd like more information on that. A couple of other events going on. One of them right now. If you're down in Fairfield and you're on your way south, you might uh, or Jeff and on your way south you might head down to the Mill Shoals Community Breakfast today. Started about a half an hour ago, and that'll run until about 10 or 11 o'clock. They always do a great job. It'll be scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, hash brown, as well as biscuits and gravy, plus your drink. Serving began, like I said, about a half an hour ago at 8.30, and uh, the cost is by donation. Everyone is welcome down there today. Also, big meeting over in Albion today. It's the Edwards and Wayne County Farm Bureaus. They're getting together to uh, to invite folks to the WILL Ag Panel Discussion and Grain Marketing Strategies and Price Outlook event. WILL, of course, the uh, radio station and television station in Champaign, and they're going to come down to uh, Edwards County to Albion and uh, do a. Uh, they're going to do that. Uh, uh, they're going to moderate a grain marketing. Todd Gleason, as a matter of fact, going to moderate moderate a grain marketing strategies and price outlook uh, discussion participating in the panel Wayne Nelson who's with L&M Commodities Kurt Kimmel with Bates Commodities and Mike Zozolo with uh, Global Commodity Analytics so if you're looking to uh, figure out where your uh, what the corn price is going to do, what your beans are going to do, and actually more likely how to uh, get the options and puts, so that's a one place to go, good place to go. And it'll be tonight at 6 p.m. in Albion, so you might want to uh, think about that. What is uh, going on on television? What's on TV tonight to not watch? Well, new shows. A couple of new shows uh, tonight that you might think about watching on Fox. 
I don't know. And I, you two said that uh, you watch football all weekend long, right? Some I, of the weekend. I watch football all weekend long. Did you see the Fox shows, uh, the Fox football stuff? Yeah, I did. I saw uh, I saw the previews or saw what they the were. Passage uh, whatever. is coming. Yes. Did you see the passage? Yes. Uh, is that, is that with Zach Morris? That, well, like, yeah, yeah, the guy from yeah, Zach Morris. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. I was trying. I knew Zach something. I couldn't remember. And there's some big thing on Twitter about how they're not pronouncing his name right, or because well, yeah, Joe Buck screwed up his name. Right, right. right. He called him out on it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But Mark Paul, Mark Paul Gosselier, right? I guess is his name. He's Zach Morris. It's, yeah, Zach Morris. <laughs> it'll be Zach Morris to you forever. Yeah, it'll be Zach Morris to the world forever. Uh, but uh, it's a vampire movie. You gonna or a vampire show? You watch the vampire show? You know, you got too many young kids. My wife gets into the series. I I don't get so much into the series. I I can do a movie, or I can do, yeah. you know, I can do thirty minutes of a movie before I fall asleep at you know ten o'clock at night. <laughs> but well, uh, but uh, you know, I, yeah, that, that's something that my wife will probably get into. Well, that's cool. That's cool. It's called The Passage, and it's going to be on Fox tonight at eight o'clock. Check your local Fox channel. Also tonight, this one I kind of like a lot better. This is Lost Gold. It's on the Travel Channel. That's channel. 211 and that's at nine o'clock tonight lost gold is uh well it's where two brothers josh and jesse feldman they go on the hunt for america's most fabled missing messages uh, seeking out old maps along with uh, records diaries and stuff written on the back of the constitution that kind of thing now that seems a lot more fun it's like indiana jones like indiana jones yeah. or like uh, national treasure you know nicholas cage there yeah that's right have all the mysteries in the in mona lisa and all there that. there you go no, i yeah. like the thought of that 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 sounds more fun that's at nine o'clock tonight and that's on the travel channel you want to watch sports tonight there's plenty of sports going on too ncaa basketball a, a ton of games big 10 doubleheader on fox sports one this evening it's nebraska at indiana the hoosiers at home at six o'clock that's channel 610 fox sports one also uh, wisconsin is at maryland tonight that is uh at uh 8 p.m. just following that Indiana game, both those on Fox Sports 1. Doubleheader on ESPNU, Channel 642, starting out with Florida State, is going to be at Pittsburgh at 6 o'clock tonight, and Baylor is at Oklahoma State at 8 on ESPNU. ESPN also has a doubleheader, and they've got the big, the big guns coming out tonight. Syracuse is at Duke, that's at 6 o'clock tonight on ESPN, Channel 601, and Texas is at Kansas, that's on on, uh, uh, at 8 o'clock. So you've got Kansas and Duke both playing tonight. And uh, then also on CBS Sports Network this evening, Channel 628, Holy Cross is at Bucknell. Uh, again, that one at 6 o'clock if you want to see some of the Colonial League. NHL tonight, three games uh, all over the place. You can watch it's St. Louis at Washington. St. Louis has won two in a row. The goalie, Bennington, has won three in a row, so you might want to uh, turn tune in to see if the Blues can finally get that elusive third consecutive win. Fox Sports Midwest, Channel 630, tonight at 6. Also, the Blackhawks are playing the New Jersey Devils tonight. That will be at 6 o'clock on NBC Sports Channel Chicago, Channel 643, and on NBC Sports Channel 216, it is Montreal at Boston. Plenty of stuff for you to keep you occupied. Plus, this show will be back on tonight at 9 o'clock as well if you want to watch a repeat. So that's cool. My name is Bruce Dickey. This is Derek Bailey. And we are going to have uh, all kinds of talks. We're going to talk about Sears. We're going to talk about the Flora Chamber of Commerce. We're going to talk about socioeconomic patterns that bring people home. So that makes it's going to get, get deep. Actually, we're going to talk about Aladdin <laughs> all day long. We're going to talk about Aladdin. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. We'll be back right after these. Please stick around. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your healthcare needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? 
Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. When you build with Morton Buildings, you build something that lasts. And now you can build for less during Building Value Days. If you're dreaming of a personal storage building, horse barn, farm storage, home, office, insulated workshop, or even a commercial facility, take advantage of our discounted pricing on new buildings now through February 28, 2019. So don't delay. Visit MortonBuildings.com for more information. Morning, folks. Welcome back to a Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My name is Bruce Dickey. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My guest today, it's Derek Bailey. He is here with the Sears Hometown Store. And uh, we're going to talk about Sears Hometown Store as well as all kinds of different things today. Because there's, there, and we'll get to it first, people see in the newspaper from time to time Derek you see the uh, the, the the bankruptcy it's, it's Sears taking bankruptcy oh heavens to Betsy skies falling closings all over the place that's not happening here is it that's not happening here I think I've been preparing for this show since October 15th when they announced the bankruptcy is that what it was? yeah it's, it's October 15th they, I've been asked you know you get asked almost every day but you know people care they're people say, they don't want the store to go away has hey I'm gonna say the stores you, you you've had the store here in town well, you've had it for several years, and before that, uh, it's been open for several years, and it is kind of an institution, isn't it? Yeah, the Anderson family, who uh, had they had Anderson Bakery, mm -hmm. uh, he uh, he opened the Sears hometown store in '98, uh, uh, built the. Uh, built the store or the building it's at now i think it was in 03 okay and so yeah it's been around for a while and it's it's a you know it's it's privately owned you know where the you know, i own the, the building uh sears owns the inventory and then they pay me a commission for what we sell yeah 
Um, so how does that work then? Okay, so first, what? Okay, so October fifteenth, this news comes down. Mm-hmm. People read it in the paper. How long did it take for somebody to come in and ask you, Derek? When are you closing? Well, I feel I, I feel horrible for you, Derek. Well, when Fox News plays it on top of the hour or every hour, you know, it has Sears go, it has Sears with their yeah. signs crumbling off yeah. the wall and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, so so people see that and they, yeah. well, but they're they're, they're concerned. Sure. And but you know how the media and, they, and that, that's cool. That's wonderful. The, the, you've got folks caring. Well, that, and that, that's a big deal too. Is you, you, people and people do make an effort to, to yeah. do business here in town, sure. which to keep it to keep the businesses going. And uh, so, yeah, we got several questions. And at, at first, it was we were kind of caught off guard. Didn't know what all you know what all we, we you didn't know what we didn't we didn't know all the details. And now uh, it's kind of been uh, you know hammered out over the last couple months. We kind of got a good idea of what's going on. So what's going on? So what's going on is the the Sears hometown. The, what the Flora store is uh, that it's a separate separate company, separate in. Entity. Uh, they have their own ticker on the stock exchange. They've got oh, their really? own. They've got their own CEO. They've got their own board of directors. The uh, the what you see in the news is Sears Holdings Corporation. Okay. They own. Uh, they own the mall stores, the Kmart's, the auto centers. Well, the, they, a lot of the Kmart's have already shut down. Yeah, it, it, similar story with the uh, with the Sears Mall stores. Okay, and uh, so they are a separate entity. Uh, that's what you're seeing in the in the news with the bankruptcy. Um. So, so just to assure folks, you are going to be there, and you're providing you're you're going to be providing your your good service that you've been providing over the past forever years. Yeah, I would honestly say the the Sears hometown. I feel like it's strong. It's got a, they've got a game plan. Uh, now, are, are there going to be no hiccups whatsoever with with Sears dissolving or Sears Holdings going away? I mean, there there may be some. Uh, um, distribution would change. There are things that would yeah. change, um, but but they have they've got a plan for it. You know, the interesting thing is, you mentioned the hiccups. The thing is, your customer probably isn't going to notice those hiccups at all, is he? Well, he or she. It, maybe it's not a good comparison. I kind of compared it to the government shutdown. It really doesn't. It. Is it, does, does the government shutdown I, affect well, you? It affected me. Well, right, and you see it in the news all the time. It's yeah. kind of the same with Sears. But I'm not going to a national park, though. That is true. This Not going this month, maybe. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'll have, by the time I go to a national park, uh, it's hopefully running. They'll, they'll be back open up. <laughs> they'll have that guy that lift the gate. That's, right. and, and that's, and that's kind of like, it's been three months now. This is uh, January 14th, and that was October 15th. It's been right. three months, and it's been worked. They have worked out, can Right. Yeah, uh, October was a tough month, and not. I mean, we had the we had the bankruptcy announcement, but we also had the road construction in front of uh, in front of the store. Is that over yet? It's over, and it's yeah, it's, it it's awesome. They did a great job with it, and uh, but but it's hard to gauge what what's what's causing the the slow business. Is yeah. it the is it the news or is it the is it the construction? And uh, then we we went through November and December. I had some of the better November and December that I've had since I've been there. Well, you see, now that's outstanding, and 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 it is really. I think, Derek, it is a reminder that Flora and this whole region is basically. I mean, they want to take care of their own. They want. To, they want to. Uh, you've got. You've got folks coming in and checking on you, making sure you're going to be okay. No, that's true. Uh, there are people that make a make a special effort. There. There are even some people who, when when the news is coming out, they make an extra point to come in and buy some tools. Or you know, and that 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 means a lot to me. And uh, I, I think they're that way with with every business here in town. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you and uh, how you got into Sears. That was. Where'd you, where'd you go to school? You're from you're a Louisville boy, North Clay boy. I'm from North Clay. Uh, you know, grew up in Oskaloosa, which is which is west of Louisville a little bit. Uh, graduated there in 2000. From there, I went to Lakeland uh, okay. in Mattoon. Um, studied business there. Went to Eastern after I graduated Lakeland. Uh, worked at UPS uh, the whole time I was there in college. After that, moved to Champaign to uh, work for Walgreens. You build up work habits that, uh, working for UPS, I'm presuming, that you're probably using currently still aren't you i didn't gain my i didn't gain my freshman 15 at ups because no. because yeah i'm always chucking boxes yeah. all uh, all day no that was that was good experience too because I, I got into management there uh kind of like that like dealing with people uh same with walgreens we actually the big thing at walgreens is we open there was only two uh two walgreens in champagne whenever i first moved there and now yeah, i think the there's like nine Green street where was the other one 
That's where I started, the one on Green Street. Oh no! Yeah, I started. Uh, so I had a, I had a totally strange idea. Oh, no. Like, it felt like the big city. The, 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 the ladies and gentlemen, if you've never been to Champaign to the Green Street Walgreens, it's an entirely different Walgreens. It doesn't even have a pharmacy. Yeah, it, it's it's entirely different from any other Walgreens you'll go to. Isn't right. It? Right, and it was uh, so that was a good experience though. Got to deal with a lot of deal good, with a lot of different uh, situations, different diversity, yeah, all, everything. And uh, from there, I moved on to some other stores. But actually, the big thing was we opened a lot of the area stores. Walgreens was kind of blowing up when I first yeah. joined, yeah. and uh, I think there were like nine Walgreens there. Now we opened all of them up. Did you really? And so we uh, learned a lot there on how to you know manage inventory and deal with people and and all that. Oh, that's uh, that's that's fascinating that you worked at the Walgreens on Green because yeah, I could probably tell you stories. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, if, uh, how long were you at the Walgreens on Green? Oh, uh, I was there. I was there probably about a year. That's plenty. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> the, there, the, uh, yeah, there, there are some things about that Walgreens. There's a place called Empire China. There's across the street. It was uh, the best Chinese food, but there, you couldn't. The menu is in. Chinese or Mandarin or whatever, and so uh, you just go in there and you you, you figure out what to order. But yeah. it was the best Chinese you ever you ever well, there you Is that still there? Uh, it is. I don't know if it's still called I guess Empire. They keep, they, they keep knocking. It's down. always changing well, there. Green Green Street is is it's turned over twice since I left, I, and I I graduated in eighty. Eight. Yeah, there's so, like a skyline there now. Yeah, all, there, all the apartment all buildings, different things. Uh, you're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV, talking here with uh, Derek Bailey from the Sears Hometown Store here in Flora. And when we return, we're going to talk a little bit more about what Sears does locally, as uh, well as uh, he got into it, and and uh, we'll do all kinds of stuff when we return. You're watching on Wabash Catch TV. Back right after these. When you build with Morton Buildings, you build something that lasts. And now you can build for less during Building Value Days. If you're dreaming of a personal storage building, horse barn, farm storage, home, office, insulated workshop, or even a commercial facility, take advantage of our discounted pricing on new buildings now through February 28, 2019. So don't delay. Visit MortonBuildings.com for more information. It's my choice. It's my choice. It's my choice. So many of our county residents have treatment or surgeries done at larger hospitals. What they don't always realize is that they have a choice. A choice to select where they can have physical therapy or any number of post-operative treatments and follow-ups. That county hospital is your choice. Talk with your specialist, surgeon, or primary care provider and let them know that you want to stay close. Close to family, friends, and most importantly, home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at bruced at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching.
At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Morning, folks. Welcome back to a Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My guest today is Derek Bailey from the Sears Homestone, Hometown Store here in Flora. We're going to talk about that as uh, well as all kinds of uh, other things today here on Wabash Catch TV over on Channel 3 in Salem here in Flora on Channel 100 and Channel 25. Uh, thanks very much for coming in. Appreciate it. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, so we got you to Walgreens. By the way, you haven't mentioned the family yet. Tell your wife and say hi to your wife and kids. Uh, hello to my wife wife uh she yeah we got a great wife she's awesome she's uh i, I met her when i was working at walgreens oh really i'm yeah she well, she, she no she wasn't one of the uh, the people like me who would go into walgreens and ask where the restroom is or no something. she was one of the pharmacy techs oh that's good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, she uh, she came. Yeah, I met her. Uh, we've been married to be ten years this year. What's her name? Uh, her name is Kaylee. Okay. And, hi, Kaylee. And so I'll say hi. To uh, hi, Kaylee. Kaylee. There you go. And uh, so we've got uh, we've got three kids. We got I got Liam who's seven. I've uh -huh. got Olivia that's three, and I've got Nash who is one. Nash is one now. How Nash about? is walking around and everybody doing good. Playing catch up. Yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. Uh, so you decided. <laughs> You'd been working at Walgreens long enough, and you decided to you wanted to come uh, to get back into a local business. Yeah, we always kind of hoped the Effingham store, the Effingham Walgreens store, would open up, uh, and I could you know manage it and then be closer to home because yeah. I'm from Louisville. Sure, and uh, never was really didn't really seem like that was going to be a, be a possibility. Uh, kind of started looking down here a little bit. Um, my Where's dad, Kaylee, from by the way. Kaylee's from Danville. Okay, she's All from right. Danville, and. Um, so we would, um, yeah, we would come down here, kind of looking to see what what kind of options we had. Uh, my dad actually ran into the owner of the Olney store, uh, Aaron Anderson. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the Andersons earlier, yeah. And decided that, you know, he or found out he just wanted to sell his store. We went ahead and looked into it. Mentioned it to you. Seemed like something that would make yeah. sense. Everybody's yeah. going to need a washing washer and dryer or yeah. refrigerator, you know. Sure. Uh, I'm kind of a yeah. I always like the idea of of owning my own business, but having something that people are need. Maybe not yeah. maybe not the most glamorous thing, but <clears throat> but it's something that, uh, that it's a necessity. Sure. And so we looked at it, thought that made sense, and uh, bought it in August of thirteen. So, how similar are the two types of retail? Because it's retail. It's retail one. Uh, the Walgreens is, is is a retail business all the way around. Uh, except you're dealing on a smaller basis, convenience items for the most part, along with the drugs, and uh, the uh, but the Sears hometown stores. You're talking appliances, mowers, and all kinds of stuff. Right, right. I mean, I had to learn a lot of, more about appliances. There's, you know, kind of had a general understanding, but kind of learn more of the ins and outs on that. But as far as the the overall retail, they inventory kind of runs the same as far as how it's counted and all that and there, there are a lot of a lot of similarities there went from you know managing close to 30 people at walgreens to to i think there were four whenever we started uh, in 13 so um that was kind of downsized and you yeah. know that was a that was a good deal or easier to easier to manage you always think uh, um, i always kind of think of the old uh, cost accounting stuff uh employees per foot or employees per right per per so. and it, you're right you're you're I hadn't really thought about the different number of employees that you would have had at Walgreens versus the employees per foot than you're going to have it here at uh, Sears. Right, and so it makes it a lot easier to manage. You get to have, you know, better relationship with those people. You get to know them a little better rather than the because you know it, when you got 30 people there, there's there's a lot of people that are in and out. Well, and you also get a chance to get a better relationship to your customers. True, and and I that's one thing is I was there uh, in the store all the time. Where with the Walgreens, it was more doing the managerial type of thing and not uh -huh. so much uh, out on the sales floor talking with people okay so somebody comes walking in and uh, they're uh, looking to basically 
re-outfit their home? Uh, what's uh, what is what's good right now in a washer and dryer? What's good right now in a stove? What's good right now in a uh, in a refrigerator? If I'm walking in and my stove just went kaput, what are you going to what? Are, how are you going to ask me what I want? Well, believe it or not, a lot of it comes down to if they're if they're just getting an all new kitchen. A lot of it comes down to color. People want you know whether you want the black stainless. There's a black stainless yeah. color that's really popular right now. Um, but you know. Samsung, Whirlpool, uh, KitchenAid, uh, they're putting out really good kitchen appliances right now. As far as laundry goes, LG is putting out uh, really good washers and dryers along with uh, along with Maytag. Mm-hmm. And uh, Samsung puts out a good set, too. How many different uh, – uh, now, do, uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the distribution, and we said there might be a, the occasional hiccup with this distribution uh, in, the, uh, um, in the Sears bankruptcy. But – as a hometown store, you're basically you have access to all the fancy appliance lines that uh, that somebody could want, don't you? Yeah, we we carry all the major brands. You know, everybody thinks Kenmore when they think yeah. of Sears, but uh, but we carry uh, we carry KitchenAid, Maytag, Whirlpool, Samsung, LG. There's all all the major brands. So I see this. Say I, I'm uh, I'm watching on television, and the Samsung's got a refrigerator out there, and it's got the the door lighting up with with uh, uh, the the all all the fancy bells and whistles telling me pick cameras about what's inside the fridge and and all that kind of stuff and I'm thinking oh well there's no way I can get that here in Florida at a local store that that's entirely untrue isn't it I mean I can, you can get anything anybody else can get we can get it we ordered one there was one with a that had a Keurig built in uh, no, in, wait, wait, in, in, in seven ice maker. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That seems you can't put a, a hot coffee device in a refrigerator. It's gonna. It was kind of kind of the cool thing for a little bit. They had the Keurig in the in the door, and we ordered one of those for a customer. We've uh, we've ordered the one with the with the screen with the touch screen. Now they they don't put it in the store for display. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but we can't order. Wow. Are they are the, are the now, see when you see the touch screen and that kind of thing, the the uh, the price is still pretty high. How, how, what's the? Have you been in it long enough to be able to see what the uh, uh, time frame is for the uh, for price to come down and get into a a, a well an economical battle with uh, with some of the the more longer running stuff more longer running but that's what i you know like a, i'm 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 kind of a middle of the road person myself i don't need i don't need the high end yeah. super fancy uh, and you know you can you can buy a nice re- you can buy a nice refrigerator for for $2000 yeah. you, you can buy you can buy a, one that's going to do everything you need for $800 yeah. i mean so you know in that range you, there are a lot of choices have you uh, since you've been in it uh, when did you buy guys buy the store in uh, august of 13 all right so you've been in it for over 5 years have you um, have you been able to now now I, uh, I'm not going to ask you the name of the brands but are, are there any particular brands that you've that you like better than another or, or, or are there is everybody all the same you think no they're not all the same they and, but what I, what it is is a lot of them it's kind of like um, you know it's kind of kind of like Kind of like GM. What's you've got you've got for? your Cadillac that has all the bells and whistles, and then you've got the you've got a Chevy that's pretty yeah. you know that can be you know get, does what you need. It's more economical, right? And so uh, we in our kitchen we went all Samsung because it's all around the appliances have been uh, you know been good. Quality. Yeah, they've been quality as far as there are other, but there are brands. There are uh, you know, and Kenmore is the same way. They they have a high end, higher end, nice appliances, but they have the lower price one. So it's kind of a get what you pay for, you know. That's really cool. I mean, I, I'm thinking of Samsung. I just got an I got a new phone. My other phone crapped out. Uh, it's a Samsung. Yeah. So basically. Uh, you're getting a refrigerator and Samsung refrigerators and TV. I've got a Samsung TV too at home. Right. And and you've you've got all kinds of the same company doing all kinds of different things. It's the kind of the brains behind the electronics makes it work better these days than maybe the the experience, right? Right. Uh, that's one thing is uh, Samsung really puts out uh, oh, one thing you know, ten years ago we didn't know Samsung made appliances, right? right? And then they, what they did, them and LG, uh, they both went in and you know tried to cut into market share, made 
very good appliances at uh, at reasonable prices right. and then that they, they drove the price down for everybody so it kind of helped everybody out as far as uh, affordability of, of appliances learning all kinds of things here today with Derek Bailey you are watching big talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV I've got Derek Bailey here we're going to talk about all kinds of different things when we return uh, he's a member of the uh, Florida Chamber of Commerce he's the vice president of the Florida Chamber of Commerce and they've got some stuff coming up as well that uh, we'll talk about here eventually but uh, we'll be right back you're watching big talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV back after these at Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your healthcare needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for healthcare, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at bruced at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. When you build with Morton Buildings, you build something that lasts. And now you can build for less during building value days. If you're dreaming of a personal storage building, horse barn, farm storage, home, office, insulated workshop, or even a commercial facility, take advantage of our discounted pricing on new buildings now through February 28, 2019. So don't delay. Visit MortonBuildings.com for more information. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. <laughs> I guess so. More to folks. Welcome back to a Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I'm Bruce Dickey. Thank you so much for tuning in. My uh, guest today It is uh, Derek Bailey, and uh, he is from the Sears Hometown Store here in Flora, and they've uh, been there for five, five and a half years. And uh, uh, 
before I move off to anything else, what has surprised you? Has has uh, dealing uh, in uh, in appliances and dealing in this business been what you expected it to be, or has it uh, what has uh, has it thrown thrown you cur- for curveballs sometimes? Oh, there's always a curveball. Um when you're when you're small business there's always something that you don't expect coming up but i actually i like moving down here back down to clay county because people act normal here in my opinion i mean they act, they act like people act like they should you got the opportunity <laughs> yeah yeah you got your opportunity to move back to to move back home i gotta tell you and i, I and i don't know what uh, it is in Louisville, but in my experience in Flora and fairfield and uh, well sisney and all over the place uh Folks, when, once they move out, they don't come back to their hometowns until they retire. You, right. You, you did it a little earlier than everybody. Yeah, my uh, the majority of my family is down here in this area. My my mom and dad obviously live here. My brother and sister are uh, are down here with their kids. Uh, it, good place to to raise raise children, and uh, that's one thing. We lived in Champaign. Really like Champaign, but it yeah. was kind of better suited for city. younger people or younger it's, couple it's a big city isn't it uh, in comparison oh yeah you're talking a hundred thousand people in in champaign urbana when there's what thirteen thousand in in clay county yeah, yeah. It's a big and, difference and for that matter you you you're thinking about raising children and you're thinking about where you're going to send them to school and how big the school's going to be and all that kind of thing right like kind of uh is that was that the I guess what does the what uh, what does the Flora Chamber of Commerce? What does the Louisville Chamber of Commerce? What does the Fairfield Chamber of Commerce? What word do they need to get out to to try to bring folks back home? You think? I think the big thing with the Flora Chamber of Commerce that the people don't understand is that that other businesses are there to help the newer businesses or people maybe have been doing it for a while that don't maybe they're getting into something new and don't know you know maybe the ropes on that. It, we're willing to help. I mean, it's not not saying we're an expert on everything, but yeah. but there's but I, I can I've been here for five or six years, I guess. I can find somebody that has dealt with that before, and uh, that's a that's what's kind of nice about the smaller community. It's a it's a network that uh, you, you know you know the network really well, rather than having to kind of reach out and fish if you're up in a bigger area. You know, that's the that's the thing that makes a ton of sense because you're you're basically it's kind of, you're kind of having uh, when when you. When other when other business folks get involved with the chamber, mm-hmm. it's it's basically you're raising all the boats, aren't you? Everybody, it it it, it helps the you know well the, the the brains quotient of the community, doesn't it? It does. It really it back to a lot of a different term. I mean, the brains quotient's kind of a silly term. Sorry, <laughs> but no, but uh, but if you there's people that don't know how to maybe don't know how to even start with books or how to keep books. Yeah. Well, you know. I keep all my own books. I know, I know QuickBooks. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I know somebody who is really good at it and will gladly help you. You know, at least kind of get your foot in the door. Well, you know, and that's the thing, folks. Start a small business. When when folks start a small business, if you haven't done it before, there are a lot of things you don't think about till you're right in the middle of it. And you might you might even even though the business has been going for a few years, you might be you you might find yourself. Oh my heavens! I don't know how to deal with. Uh, with this uh, payroll thing that right. I made, and 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 you don't, I don't often look at it, uh, look at a chamber of commerce as being uh, being a nice resource, but it really is, isn't it? Right. That's what I think. A lot of people view it as we have events or we yeah. have events in the community, but really it is a it's a great networking tool, and it uh, you know Chris there at the at the office, she's the executive director, Chris mm-hmm. Thompson. She is a She's excellent. She knows she knows a lot of people in the area, and uh, you know Lisa Cash. She's the president, and she's always involved with uh, with helping with that as well. Um, how did you get involved with that when you first moved in, moved back to town? No, I think I've been on it about about three years now. So I've uh, been just decided to you know wanted to plug into something. Yeah. I actually. Um, uh, I'm involved at uh, we're involved at First Christian Church. Uh, we do the you know the Chamber of Commerce. I'm vice president there. Actually, just uh, just starting on the uh, the Flora Flora Academic Foundation. I was asked to be on that. I'm starting that here in the next. Uh, you realize in by a the couple way, of weeks, Derek. You do realize that if you start saying yes to volunteering. To volunteering requests, they're going to keep coming. Well, you've got to say no sometimes, <laughs> but but you got to you got to you got to choose wisely. <laughs> uh, yeah, you real, uh, yeah. I was going to say I can see Bill Atwood just coming over and, and like uh, watching you like a hawk. Uh, right. He's going to get you on all kinds of stuff. But the but what's what's invite or what's uh, to me what was uh, I don't know 
the floor. What, what got me excited about the academic foundation is I know a lot of the people, and they're, yeah. they're solid people. They know yeah. they they really they want to see uh, they're not in it for an agenda so much. They just want the, the the program to do well. You were talking about the chamber, and I was I'm reminded of the uh, I, I was I'm reminded of the event that took place uh, back in October. And uh, this with the uh, with the eighteen different stops or whatever, however many, the uh, Sears hometown store was one of them where you, where folks went in and got the stamp. Oh, the the Moonlight Madness. The Moonlight Madness. Yes. And and that that particular and more than more than other ones in my mind, that one really kind of lends itself to the cooperative to the cooperative arm of the chamber, doesn't it? Yeah. It. Uh, it the big thing is just makes you aware that some where some of these businesses are. You, yeah. uh, a lot of you don't know where the location is, or maybe you've heard about it. But uh, you know, there's uh, uh, one that comes to the top of my head is uh, is Country Closet. Are you familiar with it? Sure. They do awesome. They do an awesome job. It's they the, they uh, do what they shop. they do what they do very well. They do what they and. and Every little chance to get the word out on some of these small businesses makes that big a difference down the road, doesn't it? Yeah, and I mean, you've got, and look at venues like, uh, you know, what, three years ago we didn't have a Johnny and June's in right. town. No, and, and, and there's no other. There's no towns around the area that has something like. No, that. You, there's pe- there's people from Quin- I see people from Quincy that come down here. And they've made multiple trips to come down, and that's that's pretty impressive. And that that brings people into town, and that helps that helps all the businesses out. Well, yeah, like I said, uh, the rising tide raises all boats. Doesn't that's it? right. Uh, talking here today with Derek Bailey from Sears Hometown Store. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about what the chambers got coming up, as well as uh, might talk a little bit more about the Sears stuff see what's going on again uh, you're watching big talk with bruce dickey here on wabash catch tv Derek and i will be back right after these to wrap things up back shortly when you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround go to lamont chevrolet chrysler in fairfield let gabe mcgahey sheldon bunning jeff black dennis downs matthew rogers or caleb dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMans always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMansOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your healthcare needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for healthcare, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. 
Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. When you build with Morton Buildings, you build something that lasts. And now you can build for less during building value days. If you're dreaming of a personal storage building, horse barn, farm storage, home, office, insulated workshop, or even a commercial facility, take advantage of our discounted pricing on new buildings now through February 28, 2019. So don't delay. Visit MortonBuildings.com for more information. Welcome back. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. My name is Bruce Dickey. My guest today is Derek Bailey. We're talking about all kinds of different things. One thing we didn't mention before we get to the rest of the chamber stuff coming up. Uh, I forgot you have added uh, this year, uh, the, well, in 18, you added repair service from uh, from your store, didn't you? Yeah, that was the that was the big project in, uh, in 2018. We added that, and it's uh, it's gone over really well. Who do you, uh, what's the, how's that work? Who's the, who's your service guy? I've got a guy, he works for me, his name's uh, David Lee, and then I've got a, I've got a second gentleman that I hired in uh, September named Kevin Clark, and they do the repair service for us, and we, we make, we make a pretty big circle, you know, to keep them busy, because we, yeah. we talked about Clay County not being real, real populated. Well, 13,000, 17,000 in a way. So we kind of, we kind of make a circle to, to keep them running, and, uh, but actually it's improved our, uh, you know, response time. We're able to get there within a, within a day or two to, to anybody in our area i hadn't shown any of the pictures yet there's your truck oh yeah we got the service van yeah how got, many of those do you have i've got two I've got, two, got of those. two of those now yep all right They're well, almost that, identical really yeah okay so, so could you tell from the picture which one that one was oh that was that was one that was that was the first one <laughs> first edition <laughs> that's number one <laughs> right i like it I, I like it that's pretty cool uh and then here's a now here's the other picture of the, the oh that's the that's the crew that's the whole crew how, now how many of those people work for you you seem you seem like you might have to deal with child labor laws <laughs> i think i'm at seven now i have seven oh, employees really? i uh yeah we i think we we had three i think whenever i started and we've been able to been able to uh, grow a little bit and those are all the kids uh, david he's got six kids so he's he he you know had several in the in the picture there and david is the one who runs the. he the, does uh, the repair service the, he does the rolling the the the, uh, the roller skating rink too as well oh no that's kevin kevin's that's the other got guy. the roller skating rink. kevin kevin's quite the uh yeah he's got he's got a lot of stuff he's got rental properties you know, and he with, keeps himself busy with all those with all those kids involved in in your families that are at the, the roller skating rink just really does make a ton of sense it though. made sense <laughs> it made sense it, well, you know we may move on to something else sometime but uh, the, the roller rink it kept them occupied for All a right, couple uh, hours okay so now you when you talk about repair um you're not really just talking about appliance repair are you because there's also uh refrigeration systems that your guys have the expertise to deal with too don't they? yeah david he actually he worked for uh, he worked for a and e the sears the sears mm -hmm. company or the sears contracted company on repair and uh, we we don't just sell what brands that we that we sell or something that they've purchased off of us well if, if, if you bought it somewhere else we'll fix it it's, yeah uh, so you know and he'll, he'll talk all about any brand um as far as a residential style like refrigeration and some yeah. people have those higher end sub-zero refrigerators right. and that kind right. of thing and and he's uh, he's done repair on four or five of those oh no kidding yeah what's the first thing to go wrong what 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 is what is the the largest problem say on a refrigerator somebody not 
blowing out the back filter I, I hate to say it, it's ice makers are a lot of trouble is that right and all, every brand all across the board ice makers are kind of kind of a headache i knew i was ahead of the game i knew i was ahead of the game do you, do you not have an I'll ice maker never buy an ice ma- <laughs> i am never gonna i am never gonna buy an ice maker or a water thing uh, you know get my get my drinking water out of the fridge because it's just uh, i i think it's just too many things to go wrong something else to go wrong there's uh, yeah that's that's the biggest problem that he faces as far as refrigeration well that and i don't want to run water behind it either right <laughs> but i guess if you know if, if your house already has water running behind where your fridge goes it's it's a no-brainer yeah i'd say the biggest you know most of the calls are refrigeration or they're uh, the washing machines how about stoves how uh, or what's a, what's a good stove you know these days? stoves uh, stoves are pretty low maintenance for I mean, the most you part the whole, you have the whole convection about a few years ago you had people wanting to do this convection cooking and and uh, that trend has fallen off a little bit hasn't it, it, it well what what happened is they put it on it it's like electric windows in a car they put it in every almost every stove now unless oh, okay. it's a really lower price stove yeah so uh, yeah you see that option a lot we don't have trouble with it necessarily yeah. but i don't think people use it that much either so what's, a, what's it's a, not what? going to go bad if you don't use it right well that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, like, uh, it's, that's like my volume uh, on the tv right, right <laughs> on your, your speaker yeah uh, about using the speakers uh that, that's really cool um let's see Okay, one of the other things that I, that you wanted to make clear, and I and I think it makes sense. Your your main competition probably around the area is the big box store, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of it, what it is, and and I'm we're guilty of it too at times where you know you go out of you go out of town and you make you make a trip to Effingham a Friday night right. or a Saturday night, right? And so and I, I understand a lot of people will go and they'll shop appliances and and that kind of thing, but you know all I ask is give us a shot. You know, stop by, talk to us. You're you're dealing. You're not calling a one eight hundred number for service. Right. You're uh, we're able to deal with any if there's if there are any issues. We take you're talking with me and dealing with me on that rather than um, you know dealing through the 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 big box you know process. Oh, and and for that matter, uh, your pricing. There are there are le- there are set prices that, that these big big box stores have to honor as well as you and it's the same thing right, right. and then and when you we've got a we've got a lease to own option we've got we've got a Sears credit card so we've got great payment options as well yeah. and so that's a yeah we're we're very competitive we have the national pricing in in the smaller town. Uh, talking here with Derek Bailey of the Sears Hometown Store. You, we were talking about service just a second ago, uh, and and you mentioned. Whenever you make a phone call to the sir to make a service number, well, there it is six six two thirty two thirty two. You call us. You don't call the one eight hundred number. And and you you're calling you and you're able to get some guy. You're able to get uh, your guys out there in a hurry, aren't you? Right. Too. And and I'm able to get parts quick. You know, I can get parts a lot. And I'll often, you know, we we have a good amount of inventory on the on the repair vans, but but I can get parts next day in a lot of cases. Well, that's just, that's fine. That's outstanding. Um, one of the things that we, uh, by the way, I didn't show the picture. Love the store. Did you? You've really oh, redone the front of this yeah, year. Yeah, you've redone the front of this. That was another. Bit. That was another 2018. Uh, we, uh, yeah, uh, Winter Road Construction put the uh, put the awning on the front there and uh, put new guttering. And I, uh, I did the, I did the stain. That's part of the small business owner. You, you do some stuff. Just, I, <laughs> I power washed and painted the little red sign and, uh, nice. and took care of that. So that's really good. Yeah, uh, be uh, jack of all trades, right? Well, see now, are you uh, are you moving the the, uh, the craftsman mowers in every night, or how's that working? No, they, we we lock them up though. We You'll we got a little up. little change running through them well i see now that makes good sense uh, that makes sense uh one last thing uh, you were taught we were, i mentioned that there was some some stuff coming up uh with the flora chamber uh we would be remiss if we didn't talk about the things coming up with the chamber tell me about the murder mystery i think we'll probably hopefully we'll try to get chris here again as it gets closer but the murder mystery is yeah we're, we've got one coming up that's uh, the we've got our we've got our awards banquet coming up at the end of the month i think that's on the 25th of, of, uh, january. of january and then we've got the murder mystery on uh that is march 15th okay uh that is they're, they're going with an irish theme we're gonna have irish irish, irish food uh we're going going all out with it so doing something a little different where is it it's at johnny and june that'll be at johnny and june yep is the um is the award Awards banquet at uh, Anthony's again. It is at Anthony's. Yes, it is an Anthony's. and uh, yeah, he'll have a have a good minute or good dinner there, and then uh, we'll have the the Irish food uh, and 
and uh, at the murder mystery on that Friday night. If folks are interested in uh, joining the uh, Chamber of Commerce, I know that you can go down and talk to Chris, but I'm guessing that you can probably also come see you or any of the other uh, chamber members, right? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you just want just to talk casually about it, just stop in the store and talk to me about it. I'll you know answer any questions you have and be glad to help. Uh, as far as it's relatively inexpensive compared to other chamber of commerce right. around you know the area. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll be glad to help you out and uh, I have a you know any any expertise or you know any any addition is uh, is welcome. Derek, what's uh, what's uh, the next uh, thing for Sears Hometown Store? Uh, get through the bankruptcy clearly of course but you're already doing that do you have any other renovations or new lines you're going to put in uh we're going to keep the service rolling i want to make it as as efficient as possible be able to uh, get to calls as quickly as possible that's something that we're always working to improve the 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 last thing i'll do is say that say that we we do things perfect and so there's always ways to <laughs> streamline it and uh make it more efficient that's that's the big goal for 19. derek that is the last thing you're going to say Okay. We're out of time. All right. Well, th <laughs> thank you for having me. It's been been uh, great to be on Thanks the Ray Dickey on. Show. Thanks for coming on. Uh, welcome, folks. Thanks very much for watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. That's Derek Bailey. Check him out at Sears Hometown Store here in Florida. We'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day.